And the next presenter is me. Hello, I'm Dr. Sue. I'm the lead physician for Cutaneous Cancer Committee of Southern California, Kaiser. Today, I will present an interesting topic of TVEG. The long name is Telemogen Leporovic. It's a mouthful. And now I'm going to put up my slides. Okay. Um, yes. So this is a, um, a viral therapy injected directly into the melanoma lesion. That show, this therapy has shown impressive result. Um, this therapy has activity against not only the primary tumor at the injection, injection site, but also uh, has activity against metastatic disease. It has a potential to prime a systemic immune response lead to tumor shrinkage distant to the injection site. <clears throat> this is a, a uh, mechanism of action uh, diagram. Uh, uh, this is a herpes simplex virus type 1. It is genetically altered. Some of the genes are deleted and a GM-CSF cassette is inserted into this virus as well to prime patient's body immune system to attack cancer. Inside a normal cell in a patient, a healthy cell, virus is unable to replicate, <clears throat> leave the uh, normal cell unharmed. Inside a cancer cell, the virus replicates and secretes, secretes all these um, cell lysis products, including GMCSF and antigens. Then these, these products attract the human, human immune system cells, such as dendritic cell and T cell to the site. Now the T cells are programmed to identify and destroy cancer cell throughout the body. This, this is a diagram of timeline of all the new therapies started exactly 10 years ago. We're now 2021 and these therapy started uh, FDA approved, getting FDA approved in 2011. As you can see on top, the blue uh, words with end with NIV, NIV, are targeted therapies in the bottom, the red words ended being MAB, MAB, are immunotherapies, okay? And you can see in 2015, the topic of my discussion, TVEC, the oncolytic virus, was discovered and approved by FDA. This is not the uh, first time we talk about injecting a tumor, inoperable tumor with a pathogen. Uh, just a little uh, interesting history. Uh, Dr. William Cooley in, 19, in 1890s injected inoperable sarcoma patients with streptococcal pyrogenes. Um, he's credited for giving us the first example of immunotherapy. Surprisingly, tumor regression was observed in more than 10% of patients treated with this intralesional injections. And now we know this toxin as Cooley's toxins. Also, uh, since 1976, we have a century of observation experiences with intralesional immunotherapy, with injecting mycobacteria into the, directly into the tumor, leading to a BCG-mediated tumor immunological activity. These uh, treatments showed responses, but did not alter the course of disease, like patients' uh, recurrence rate and overall survival. So our new therapy, TVEC injection, has generally been very well tolerated. The major adverse events were very mild, uh, usually a flu-like symptoms such as fatigue, fever, or chills, usually with the first injection, and later on, patient tolerates it very well. In the original study, the intralesional TVEC injection was compared to essentially a placebo, which is subcutaneous injection of GMCSF. The durable response rate is defined as response lasting more than six months. In the later updates, the TVEC showed durable response rate of 19%. The TVEC group has better survival rates at 12 months and 48 months. Uh, some of patients are lucky enough to achieve complete response, meaning no more cancer visible in their body. About 29% of the durable responder achieved that. 
Also in 2019 later updates, the medium overall survival in the TREC group is longer, 23 months versus GMCSF group uh, at 18.9 months. So in 2015, FDA approved this injection therapy for patients with inoperable melanomas, stage three and stage four M1A. Uh, these stage four disease patient has metastasis to distant skin, soft tissue, lymph node, but no organ meds like lung, bone, no brain meds. So essentially, we want to find a patient with a tumor in a convenient and injectable location, preferably can be seen on the physical exam on the left and can be palpable on physical exam in the deeper subcutaneous tissue. If the tumor involves a deeper lymph node, we do require use of ultrasound, which is regularly employing our procedure room to inject these deeper lymph nodes with TVEG. We also keep a really good records of our patient database. Uh, we keep detailed information regarding patient's demographic, response rate, and duration of treatment. Uh, most treatment appears to stop before six to eight months. Uh, so I want to present some of our real world experience in Kaiser Riverside based on 2017-2019 data. Uh, we injected 22 patients. Uh, our complete response rate is 27%. Partial response rate is about 59%. Uh, we have a wide range of age groups um, receiving injections, age 49 to 88. Um, it takes about uh, three to six weeks to see any type of response. And we hope to combine our data with Northern California Kaiser data later on. Uh, similar to our uh, clinic's experience, uh, it is higher than the historical record in the optimum trial that initially got uh, the TVEC approved. This trial also showed when combined with systemic therapy, uh, the IV infusional therapy with all the drugs that ends with MAB, MAP, pembrolizumab, nivolumab, and bilumabab, patient can achieve 50% complete local response and 30% partial response. So total about 80% response. Um, this is higher than the original trial data because in real world patient does uh, sometimes rec uh, receive the uh, IV systemic therapy at the same time. And it is safe and effective treatment in the real world as well. These are some our patient cases. This patient was actually put on hospice and comfort care. She, uh, despite multiple surgery and radiation, she, uh, her, her recurrence were post auricular behind the earlobe, uh, size of an orange on both sides of her ear. After several months of injection, the area flattened out and subsequently she achieved complete remission. On uh, surgical bi uh, biopsy at the end of her treatment, um, there was no cancer remaining and she started wearing bigger and bigger pearl earring to show off her beautiful neck. So the next uh, patient is in her 80s when she presented to our clinic. Uh, she also had multiple surgical resection of these lymph nodes by head and neck physician. After a few months of systemic disease, she also achieved complete remission. We stopped injection three years ago and she celebrated her 90th birthday recently. This is a 79 year old female that's demonstration of a very convenient place for injection. Uh, it's very accessible, uh, visible and palpable and make these are excellent uh, injection uh, intralesional treatment candidate. This patient also had many scalp excisions and with recurrent size of walnut on the top of his scalp. Uh, after a few months of injection, patient uh, lesion completely flattened out, achieved a very good response. Another easy accessible location, the neck. If the patient, uh, this is a right armpit lesion, um, once the lesions that's easily accessible are uh, shrink, have shrink, and then they, uh, 
are not uh, easily accessible anymore. We do need ultrasound guidance at the end to inject deeper lesions. Uh, another area of uh, injection is, uh, uh, is shown here in the left leg. And one of the highest number we've uh, injected in one extremity is, uh, in, is about 20 lesions in one leg. This is a story of a young lady in the posterior thigh area, uh, has a, a large tumor, very uncomfortable for her to even sit on. Um, and then you can see on the right, there is vertiligo, which is a very good sign that the immune, her immune system in her own body is helping to attack and kill tumors. There's vertiligo after several months of injection. Eventually, Dr. Scott Bowen removed the remaining scar and show on the pathology, there is no tumor cell found. This patient has achieved complete remission and is currently off all therapy. For the future, uh, TVEC is studied in combination, in, uh, outside of real life experience, also in clinical trial, is studied in combination with all the uh, ipilimumab and pembrolizumab, the uh, immunotherapies. They're definitely safe to give with minimum additional toxicity. However, if, they, uh, if there's any uh, uh, change to any long-term outcome is to be seen. This is not ready for official prime time. Uh, injection into other sites is also very important. This is a phase one study with TVEC injection into the liver meds and the liver cancers uh, tumors. This is important because Melanoma does metastasis to the liver. And what we know about liver tumor is that it is very difficult to treat. Uh, your body's uh, immune system may not uh, work as well in these tumors. The TVEC injected directly into these lesion can turn these so-called very hard to treat cold tumor into hot tumor that respond to either immunotherapy or uh, chemotherapy. In real life, we sometimes, uh, like, at the, like the case which I showed you, the last young lady who, we, it was unplanned that we uh, started to inject her thigh tumor. Then she has such a good response, uh, she became a candidate for surgery. We converted her from unre unresectable disease to a resectable disease candidate. Um, in this study, uh, they. Uh, study the patient got a uh, pre-surgical injection versus patient go, uh, who went and got immediately surgery. So patient got either six dose of TVEC prior to surgery. It was shown that the group who got TVEC before surgery had better and longer relapse-free survival and event-free survival even at three years later. Because what I said, I think this is a TVEC is exceptional, important and well-tolerated treatment and will continue to develop as, as a treatment that can help many patients with melanoma. So at the end, uh, in Kaiser, we're lucky enough and very fortunate to have all these subspecialty. This is not an all inclusive list that is involved in our uh, melanoma care. Uh, our melanoma program is also called ABC program. Our mission is to provide multidisciplinary and comprehensive patient to all, all of our patients. Kaiser nationally are providing support for excellent individualized care. Beyond that, Kaiser Riverside would like to provide up-to-date information and solution that can benefit anyone who are touched by melanoma. Thank you everybody for listening.